This has been a very rough year for Minecraft modding. First, modding was made virtually impossible on Bedrock Edition, and now it looks like Java Edition is also in some trouble. From what we know, it seems things may only be about to get worse from here. So, let's talk about the future decline of Minecraft modding. So the other day I made a video talking about Mojang's new development rhythm, where they are going to be dropping more frequent updates than they were before, and I said this is probably going to be a good change, but there was one pretty important factor that I admit I wasn't taking into consideration during that video. How will this new development cycle impact modding? Some of you in the comments pointed this out to me, and thank you for that, because this is pretty important. Mods have played a pretty crucial role in keeping Minecraft alive over the years, especially with returning players, but this new development cycle may cause some serious issues for modding. See, for those of you who aren't really familiar with how modding and adding mods to the game works, if you want to make a mod pack with multiple mods, then you need to make sure there are two things. One, that all of the mods use the same mod loader, and two, that all of the mods are for the same version of Minecraft. This makes assembling larger mod packs pretty difficult. There are bound to be certain mods that you want but just can't put in the pack because they're incompatible. And Minecraft mods not getting updated to the latest versions has already been a pretty big issue. Though still you can at least find many mods that are updated to 1.20.1 or 1.19.2. Because when Mojang only releases one major update a year, it gives modders a lot of time to catch up and update their mod to that version. But what about when we have several updates dropping each year? Well, it might get pretty messy, with so many different new versions popping out then modders might not agree on a specific version to update to. One modder might update their mod to 1.21.5, another might think that 1.21.7 is more important and update their mod to that version instead. And then of course, both of those mods will be incompatible with one another. This looks really bad for the future of modding, but it may not be over yet. See, currently there are a few different versions that modders kind of agree to update their mods to. For example, most modders will prioritize getting their mods available on 1.16.5 or 1.19.2 or 1.20.1. Then, when you have so many modders all updating to these same versions, it becomes easier to assemble a mod pack with a lot of mods. The new update cycle might disrupt this, but there's a chance it won't. Modders might still find a common version to update their mods to, especially if we still get one major update per year that's larger than the other ones, which is very likely this will happen because we can assume 1.22 is likely going to be larger than 1.21.5, right? We're still probably going to have that one larger update that moves the version up by an entire different digit. And with that, we might see some common ground once again for mods being updated. But with that being said, there really is no guarantee here. After all, Mojang or Microsoft has made it pretty clear that they don't care about modding. In some cases, even actively trying to kill it. So what this is really probably going to depend on is the community, more specifically the modding community and their ability to agree on a certain version to update to. Which is going to be difficult because when you have all of these different updates dropping with new content, how do you decide which one is more worthy of being updated to than the others? Update size and importance will obviously be the large deciding factors, but those can also be somewhat subjective sometimes. So, worst case scenario here, Modding becomes a mess, it becomes basically impossible to get a mod pack with all the mods you want in it, because they're all on these different incompatible versions. Best case scenario, the modding community can decide on some sort of universal version to update their mods to, which is for the most part what's been happening for the past few years. 
because, well, it's kind of been necessary. I mean, if modding dies out, Minecraft very possibly might go down with it. Many older players depend on mods to keep the game feeling fresh and engaging. Now, with all of that being said, I don't think this new update schedule was made to intentionally kill off modding. I mean, the theory does have some evidence. Surely Mojang must know that if they actually kill off modding, then that will be severely harming the game and its community. If they really wanted to just cut off modding, they could have done so already. And they could do it in far more efficient ways than releasing more updates per year. Maybe you could argue that this is more of a silent attempt to try and slowly bring about an end to modding. I'm sure Mojang or Microsoft would rather people use the marketplace instead, but there's something you need to understand here. Their first priority isn't getting people to buy things in-game. It might be their top priority, but it's not the first. Because in order for Mojang to get people to spend money in-game or in the marketplace, they first need to make sure that people are still playing the game, that it's still alive. That's their first priority. Then once they have that handled, they can worry about making money. And that's exactly why I think this change is for, to keep people playing the game. Having more constant updates so that people have reason to come back to the game more often. They want more people to play the game more often, and killing modding would have pretty much the opposite effect of that, so I'm pretty certain that that wasn't their goal here. I could be completely wrong, but if I am, then that would just mean that Mojang or Microsoft is trying to make a really stupid move here. But I'm pretty sure they're smarter than that. So that's all I've got to say for now. Uh, thank you guys for 500 subscribers, by the way. We reached that milestone at a pretty impressive pace, and I couldn't have done it without any of you. And so, looking forward to what's to come, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I also hope to see you in the next one. For now, goodbye.